Okay, we ready to go? Where you go? Who's not here? The bloke, the bloke uh, that I can't, we've forgotten his name. Uh, Johnny, how about Johnny Dixon? Dixon. Arriving in Wairu after a short drive from Auburn to Wallaroo. We stayed at the Anglers Inn Hotel Motel, which was not far from the centre of the Wallaroo Township. On day one, we rode the Copper Coast Rail Trail to Muta and then on to Muta Bay and then returned. This rail trail is about 16 kilometres long and it's just been fully paved with the Kadena to Wallaroo Rail Trail already sealed. You have about 25 kilometres of sealed trail. The trail has been excellently formed and sealed and is basically a flat ride. Munta is also a beautiful copper town of the 1860s like Wallaroo and Kadena. Munta has some very good coffee shops. And visiting the old copper mine headstocks are a must as well as the beautiful coastline. All up day one was about 45k cycling. Kitchen on a kitchen on a bedroom. Yeah. We stayed here about three, four years ago and rode All the way to Brisbane again. He's down on Moon to Bay Jetty. <laughs> Making a movie, I can cut photographs. As I said to Brian, they even got the stuff. Where's the tailwind gone? Well, hey. Well, it's yeah, there. It's like a nor nor'easter to me. A nor nor'easter? Yeah. Uh, east um, nor'easter. I knew, I knew, I knew there was something back in front. Yeah. <laughs> and when you. That's it. <laughs> the rider's on the uh, Tour de Alford. You turned all the trucks off for him. I did. Dr. Michael Gordon. Day two. We rode to Alford and returned on the main road from Wallaroo yeah. to Port yeah. Royal. This was a, approximately 50 kilometres return ride on a very ah, the front runners, road. Red Packer in front. Through flat Coming country. The town has forth. about 160 Young people. John. Our two doctors have got their heads down going for it. Two. Putting in the hard yards, right up the hill. How's that? We got coffee coming. And how was that, Greg? Nice little town. This is Alford, yes. How's that, Mick? Good? How was that? How was that? Good? That was good. It's all downhill on the way back. All downhill, yes, it is. With a tailwind. Yeah, yeah, how are you doing here, Greg? Here's the crowd. Then we settled in the, around the 1880s. In our front, we had a great coffee and biscuits at the Caravan Coffee Shop in the main street. The lovely lady looking after the shop was from Kenya. Yeah. 
Oh, Brian, is it Brian? No, Brian's on the back. Are you filming, John? I am filming. Hey. Well, not everybody's here. And who was up front? Oh, Hank might have been, hey? Good seat belt, find one slash seat belt, yes. Right, okay. Okay, you can do it. You want to do that? You can do that. John can actually take one person, one bike. Just after the coffee, right, just a little break. Good tailwind. Day three. We drove approximately 150 kilometres on quiet back roads to Stansbury on the east coast. We've ridden here before from Edithburg. It's a pretty town and so we decided to start there and cycle 50 k's north along quiet main road to Androssen. There was a strong wind blowing so we had a great cycle on this quiet road with a very good surface. However, during the barley harvest season, there is a lot more trucks taking grain to the coastal storage areas. However, on previous rides, we have no major issue with the grain trucks. Day four, we repeated the trip to Munta via the rail trail and spent time visiting the copper mine headworks where the steam engines lifted the ore to the surface. The headworks are still in a reasonable order. My great 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 grandfather is buried in Munta. This is Mike Medivis Church, 1865. We'll go back around again. 1865, what was it like here then? Oh, my great great grandmother was 16 then. What's up, mate? If we know that, yeah. We'll stop. Um, Brian! Oh. 
the Isuzu Award for going your own way. The Medical Irrelevance Award. That's a good one. Special, specialist consultations none of us needed. By the rest of the team. To Greg, the Back Roads Award. Particularly for the day, a bit tough on the, the rear, but uh, especially for the mood of memories. Thank you.